Hi, my name is Austin Blackstone, and today I'd like to talk to you about a really cool feature in ARM Treasure Data, namely the predictive scoring feature. The predictive scoring feature allows you to ask intricate questions about your data and better find your users. For example, you can find all users who are likely to use a coupon, and you can rate them from very likely to not likely at all, so you can better target your ad dollars. Likewise, you can use third-party DMP data dumps to ask questions to find lookalike audiences so you can further target people that you may not have seen on your website, but still build a profile for what you're looking for and parse large data sets. The predictive scoring feature allows you to apply a predictive score to a user to target them directly so you can better target your ad dollars to see a greater ROI. So let's get into it and see an example. To show you this, I'm going to jump behind the camera and drive from my laptop. So I'll see you there in three, two, one. So now we're looking at my dashboard for my account. If you have the predictive scoring feature enabled, you should see it in this tab right here. You can click on it, and you'll be able to see all of the predictive scoring models that you've created. Your predictive scoring screen will look like this. You probably won't have anything on this screen, but we have a couple of demo models that we're going to talk about. In order to create new models, you come up here to this button and you click New Model. It, when you're creating a new model, you can select which segment you're going against and all the other relative information. You can save it as something, select your features, and generally there's a whole bunch of options that you have here. For a deep dive into this information, please go check out our tutorials linked below this video. I'm going to go back to the predictive scoring page here and walk you through what it looks like to use one of these so you can understand the benefits of using predictive scoring. In this example, we're going to take a look at our response probability model. We're going to go down and click on it here. And in this model, we've set up a whole bunch of features that we want to take a look at. All these features combined make up the customer's response probability in our opinion. In your opinion, it may be something different. For your data set, it may be something different. Please do take care in selecting your features. Once you've selected them and you've trained your model, you're able to then check out the predictive scores on that data set. In the predictive scores tab, you can see all of the relevant information. In this data set, for a response probability model, we see nine users that are highly likely to have a high response probability. You can see that we only have seven people. That's because we only had seven profiles that we didn't know. We had two profiles that we did know. And since we're using predictive scoring to engage with users that we haven't already engaged with, we have seven of those nine left. The vast majority of our users fall into a possible or marginally likely category. If you'd like to export these data sets to then further do things with them, you can go and create a new segment from them, name your segment something, in this case, we'll call it Austin's Awesome Test Segment. I'm only going to export likely candidates, and then I'll hit Create. This has now created a segment that I can go do something with. So I'm going to go to my segment screen now and check out that segment. So this is my segment. You can see that we only have a few people in here, and you can see them over here. If you want to click into their profiles, you can click on these buttons to see more information about these users to highly target them further. Typically, at this point, you would go use an activation to engage these users. In this instance, I'm going to create a new activation, and I can easily use any of the connectors I have set up. On this account, I've got Facebook, MailChimp, MySQL, and Amazon S3. So if I wanted to engage with them directly on Facebook, I could activate them there. If I wanted to send them an email campaign, I could activate them with MailChimp. Or if I'm not quite ready to do something with this data, I can store it back to an Amazon S3 bucket and engage with it further later. I hope this overview of the predictive scoring feature has made you interested in trying it out yourself. If you'd like to know more information about it or get it added to your account, please reach out to your local Treasure Data sales representative. That's it for today's video. See you next time.